What's good, y'all? We are back with another draft recap today. So we got the Bills draft recap. The Bills had a really solid draft overall. They added depth. They got stronger, and just they're already going in a good direction. This is just it helps them a lot. With their first pick, they drafted AJ Epinesa. I like this pick a lot. A lot of people had a first round grade on him. He has solid pass rush moves, good with his hands. Pretty quick for his size. He's like 6'6", 270, and he has a really nice bull rush. He's pretty versatile. I saw him drop into coverage a couple times, which is crazy because how big he is. Like, that's weird. You never see a player like that drop into coverage, but I saw him drop into coverage a couple times. He can do a lot of different things, bro. He reminds me of J.J. Watt. He's not super athletic, but he's really good, bro. He's really good. I can see him starting. Uh, he gonna have to compete for sure, but it's a good pick. Next in the third round, they drafted Zach Moss. From Utah, this dude is, uh, bro, he cold, bro. He is cold. He a beast. I thought a little bit of Marshawn Lynch, but I see like some Alfred Morris, like prime Alfred Morris when he was like with the Redskins, uh, a little Chris Carson, bro, but he's nice, bro. Dude is nice. A bigger running back who's like really fast. He runs through arm tackles. Uh, him and Devin, I feel like, are polar opposites. Devin is more of a really agile, but he runs pretty hard too. Devin runs pretty hard, but he's more of a, uh, really agile back and Zach is he has some agility to him but he, his power is crazy bro uh Frank Gore probably is gonna be I don't know if the, Frank Gore's still on the roster but if he is still on the roster I don't see him getting much carries him and Devin are gonna be splitting carries that's just how I see it going forward for right now next we have Gabriel Davis a fourth selecting him in the fourth round from UCF uh, this was a solid pick. It was a depth pick. Like, I like their top three receivers already. Uh, so, I don't see anybody starting over Cole Beasley, Stephon Diggs, or John Brown. So, I mean, I feel like this was just a pick for competition. But he's nice. He's fast. What well, I'll say this. He plays fast. He ran a 4-5, but on tape, when you, like, watching, watching his highlights and watching his film, bro, he looks a lot faster. But, I mean, it could be the competition he was playing, but I don't know. But he looks a lot faster. He got really solid. He got really nice hops. Uh, and like I said, I just feel like it was more of a depth pick because their first three wide receivers just sold up. In a fifth round, they got kind of. This was kind of a steal. They got Jake Fromm from Georgia. I wanted to see Jake go somewhere and comp compete for a starting spot, or just at least be in a position to where he's behind an older quarterback, so maybe he can eventually, you know. But behind Josh Allen, he's definitely gonna be a, a backup. The, the weird thing is him and Josh are two totally different quarterbacks. Um, so I'm curious to see how he would actually play in the offense with the starters if Josh was get hurt. Not saying I wish that. I'm curious to see how that would play out. In the sixth round, they drafted a kicker, Tyler Bass. Uh, I didn't even know any kickers that got drafted. So that actually kind of threw me off to see that. But if he got drafted, he must be pretty nice. Um, I didn't really watch any film on him just because he's a kicker, but like me, it's just off of assumption, he got drafted as a kicker, so he must have some talent. Um, I'm looking forward to see what happens with that pick, and I hope it pans out. Next, we got Isaiah Hodges. This was a solid pick, another depth pick at receiver. I think they're just trying to add some competition in their receiver room and just see who, who flourishes because, like I said, the top three receiver spots are sold up. So I don't really know what they doing with drafting extra receivers. Like I said, I just feel like it's depth. One thing about him, he's he's gonna be the tallest receiver, so I feel like he's gonna get a lot of love. He just has to like take advantage of everything that comes his way. For his size, he's pretty smooth. He's not just super agile, but he's just he's just he plays smooth. He has real good body control for his size. Has that go up and get it ability. He has like real nice catch in traffic. Like he catch and secures the ball quickly. Like in crowded situations, it's, it's Go up, get it. Go up, get it. You know what I mean? Like, just, it brings it in. So, the key thing for him would be, like, just working on his route running and his separation because, like I said, he's not a fast receiver. So, that's just going to be his his bread and butter. He's going to have to, like, really learn, you know, get separation down packed because he's not really going to outrun a lot of DBs. With their seventh pick and last pick, this actually, in my opinion, I like Zach Moss probably the most. Of course, AJ is a, is a dog, but this pick, I feel like, was a steal, bro. This pick was a steal. Dane Jackson from Pittsburgh, he's solid, bro. 
He's solid. Man to man corner. He can play man. He can play zone. I, I really like, I watched like probably three games of him and never saw him just get, get work. Pretty much when he was on the number one receiver, he did his job. Uh, I saw the Clemson game. They played Clemson, I believe two years ago and he shut it down, bro. I think he only allowed, just on his side, I think he only allowed one catch and he had a pass deflection. Solid corner, he a big hitter for a corner. He hits really hard, great tackler, good block shed. And overall, like I just think the only issue would be speed. Cause he ran a four, five, seven. So he's not just a, a speedster, but I mean, I never really saw him get burnt by anybody. Never really saw him just get done bad, you know? Like, I saw, it was one play where I saw Justin Ross snagged on him. But other than that, I mean, like, I didn't, like, just watching film, watching highlights, bro, I, I really didn't see him just get torched or anything. So overall, I feel like, let me see, AJ's gonna start, Zach Moss. I don't know about Dane starting, but Dane Jackson, that seventh round pick, bro, he is a steal, bro, in my opinion. I feel like the starter potential, plus the kicker. So I feel like they got four possible starters out of seven picks, which is really good. And the rest is just depth. Like I said, bro, they had a really solid draft. It's a lot to look forward to. They probably got the division sold up. I'm not gonna say that though, because the Dolphins are a threat. We have to respect them. And the Patriots are a threat. Patriots still have that defense. Bill Belichick is their head coach, so we can't sleep on them. That's my draft recap. Comment y'all thoughts below. I appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned, and stay blessed. Man amongst boys, I walk with the Lord. Gotta be careful what you say because your tongue is a sword. Why you speaking what I think and ain't no easy.